Hey you guys, so I decided to make this what vegans eat video like part two or just like another one because I got such amazing feedback on the last one and I was, Bandit, what do you think you're doing? I don't want him to jump up there. Sorry, I got distracted. I decided to make another one for you guys. I'm actually editing it right now, if you can see. Say that I really hope that you guys like this video. I kind of added in some healthy stuff, some junk food stuff, so it's kind of good for everybody to watch, and it's just another, like, more ideas and recipes of what you can eat as a vegan. I like to make things quick because I get bored easily watching videos, so I hope you like it, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys like these videos, and subscribe if you want to see more like them. Guess what? You can eat Oreos. I got so excited when I found that Earth Balance made vegan cheddar squares, which is basically like cheese it. So these I'm definitely going to be rebuying. Then I found out that Whole Foods has vegan donuts. This is also a really good brownie mix, and you just replace it with the flaxseed meal replacement for eggs and then the Earth Balance butter. And then Earth Balance also makes vegan mac and cheese, so you can also eat that. So this is what I'm having for breakfast. It is super easy to make. It's the from Trader Joe's organic oats and flax. And how long does it take to make, Mom? We put a half a cup of water in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Okay, so and, and then mix in the and then we mix in blueberries, and it is delicious. So that's breakfast. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Okay, so this is what's for dinner. It might not look that appetizing, but it's actually really good, and it's super easy to make. So I use the organic brown rice. I use one bag of that. You literally microwave it for three minutes and it's done. Then I just threw in a can of organic black beans. I didn't even cook them. I just put them in there. I hope that's okay. Um, then I added this salsa verde sauce to give it some flavor. And if you don't like that, you can also just add like marinara sauce. Um, I put in some Himalayan crystal sea salt, some garlic powder, and of course my fave, sriracha. Put that shit on everything and bam, dinner. Yum. So if you're busy or you're on lunch break, you don't have time to make your own food, they have this vegan yumminess at Whole Foods and at other supermarkets. You just have to go look for it. It will say that it's vegan on the label. Um, sometimes it doesn't, so you just need to ask people behind the counter, but this is all healthy and quick stuff that you guys can grab at your local grocery store or at a Whole Foods. And you know, like I said, it's really healthy. It's really good for you. You should give it a try. For the unhealthy versions, you're having a birthday or you just want some cake, they make vegan cake. It's so easy to be vegan these days because they have vegan everything now and it tastes just as good. I want to eat this cupcake through the video right now. Also, you heard I went to um, Whole Foods and got vegan donuts. They were delicious. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Also, you guys, you can go to Taco Bell and get the Cantina Burrito. Just get it vegan style and make sure you don't get the cilantro dressing because that does have dairy in it. But this is what the uh, Cantina Burrito looks like. They kind of missed um, putting in the rice though and I think a few other things. But it's actually really good and it's a huge burrito so it'll definitely fill you up. And you can also use the um, sauces if you want. And here is a nice little clip of Trav eating. Uh, you can also get the bean burrito which is one of my favorites. And... Um, um, this is a also another bean burrito. You can get just beans and rice, um, and you can also have them add onions and their hot sauce. Just make sure you tell them no dairy, and they've been pretty good about it. So, yeah. Um, also, another point, it was pretty cheap, too. Okay, so I'm just putting, um, like, cooking some spinach, and I made some pasta, some quinoa pasta from Trader Joe's, and I just added some... Um, Earth Balance like vegan butter and some garlic. Let me show you what that looks like. This crushed garlic from Trader Joe's. And I am going to add in some of this organic tomato basil marinara sauce. And of course, my favorite, sriracha. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. I put a little heart with the sriracha because it was made with love. I got this from Trader Joe's. This is really good. This is the um, chocolate frozen dessert with coconut milk. It looks like this and it's actually really delicious. I like to get the lightly salted Pringles. They're so good, but be careful because I end up eating like the whole can in like half a day. <laughs> 
So if you don't know about this, so Frida Vegan Burritos at Chipotle, you've been under a rock. Um, you can get it in a bowl or a burrito, and they're huge. It takes me like three days to eat them, but they're so good, and you can get chips and guacamole from Chipotle also. I went to Whole Foods, and I got some Chipotle Veganese. It was on sale, and it was around 3 or $4, and it's made by Follow Your Heart. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty yummy. Then... If you are like me and love chocolate pudding, they make it with almond milk, and this brand Zen with the panda on it is freaking delicious. It tastes just like regular chocolate pudding, and I really recommend it. Also, in case you didn't know, ketchup is vegan, so you can still have that with like french fries and stuff. And my favorite part is um, Whole Foods in my area now has donuts, as you can see. <laughs> I couldn't help to film this video and not eat half the donut. Um, I went this morning and got some donuts, and those are already gone. So I went back to Whole Foods this afternoon because I needed ketchup, and I got some more donuts. And, like, they're really, really yummy. Here's another one. They have, like, all different kinds, and they're very good, as you can see. I made a veggie burger, and it probably looks, like, totally disgusting, but it tastes delicious. I used the Dr. Prager's veggie burger patties from Trader Joe's. The buns are also from Trader Joe's. I added guacamole, that chipotle sauce, and some ketchup with some spinach, and it's really yummy. You guys should give it a try. I wanted to just show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's. So if you are vegan or wanting to go vegan, here are some of the things that we buy, and hopefully it can give you guys a little inspiration of what to get next time you guys go to the grocery store. I've kind of just laid it all out. Uh, we just went grocery shopping. And I'm just going to go one by one quickly so the video is not too long and show you guys what we got. White kidney beans, strawberries, morning oat crunch, and you guys this is all vegan. Organic black beans, we got some green apples, organic avocados, cilantro, grapes, small whole grain lentils, organic brown rice, the Dr. Preggers California veggie burgers. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I think my cat is having fun in the Trader Joe's bags. What are you doing in there? <laughs> You're so silly. Do you like Trader Joe's bandit? He found himself a new toy. Huh? He's done. Okay, back to the video. All right, where were we? Um, okay, so we got organic corn. We got sliced mushrooms. We got yellow peaches and white peaches. White peaches are my favorite. These are, this is the organic brown rice pasta and it's really good. Um, we got rolled oats, stir fry, flaxseed meal, ooh, brownie mix that's gluten free. And it also, is free of wheats, peanuts, tree nuts, milk and dairy, soy, and corn. So literally, if you're allergic to like everything, you can still eat that, so that's really cool. And then you just substitute um, like the butter and the eggs. You mix um, the flax seed and then, let's see, where is it? Oh, and then you just use like this type of butter. So it's easy to do like replacement stuff. Okay, we got nectarines. We got these little green chilies. We've never had these before. We're gonna try them. We got some bananas, sourdough bread. Coming over here, we got this 100% um, pineapple juice and it is really good, you guys. We got some marinara pasta sauce. The vegetable lentil soup. We got some waffles. These are also gluten and yeast free. We have onions in that bag, Huffins peanut butter, and last but not least, grapefruits because Travis likes to make grapefruit juice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys learned some new stuff or there was something in this video that you wanted to um, try for yourself. That's it. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Bye.